Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I got my 2005 Yamaha TTR 230 and I will be showing you how to tighten the chain on it. Keeping your chain tight is important to keep it from coming off and keep it from wearing excessively. You see it's pretty loose. I have my chain block on here. Yeah. That helps it keep from coming off because it guides it onto the sprocket and it'll keep it from throwing it off. Makes a big difference. Tightening the chain is really simple, especially on one of these dirt bikes. All you need for this one is a 22 millimeter wrench, a 17 millimeter wrench, and some type of hammer. You don't have to be a ball peen, but you need a hammer. So, what you do is you take your 17 millimeter and on the side of this axle bolt, you put your 17 over it. And then on the other side where the nut is, put your 22 millimeter over it. And you may or may not have to hold back up on the 17, but you just loosen it up. Don't loosen it. Don't take it all the way off. Just get it good and loose. And then you can see on the little adjusters, kind of muddy. You can see on the little adjusters, there's numbers on them, and there's little dimples in it. And there's this little rod. And right now it's on six, the one past the six, the little dimple. And what you do is, you just take your hammer, tap on it. until it jumps to the next little dimple. And you do the same thing on the other side. And check your chain. That's about where it needs to be. You need about three quarters of an inch from all the way at the bottom to all the way at the top. That's about right. You shouldn't have to move it too many, but you need about three quarters of an inch and you always measure it from the top because with the bike in neutral and if you measure it on the bottom it'll kind of give you a false reading, especially if you have this chain block. And then after you get that done, just take your 22 millimeter and put it back on the nut and tighten it back up. You need to get it good and tight. Be sure and get it plenty snug, plenty, plenty tight. Because I've had bikes before where this nut won't be tight enough and it'll back out. And then this is just pretty much flopping. And your chain gets all crossways and it throws your chain off. And when it throws your chain off, it can bust a hole in your motor up there by the front sprocket. I've seen bikes do that before. And if your sprocket gets crooked, then it'll, it'll be bound up and it'll wear everything really bad. And you got to make sure that your little adjusters are the, in the same place on both sides. They're both one little dimple in front of the seven thanks for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I appreciate it you can hit the little notification bell and it'll let you know whenever I upload another video thanks